Welcome back. Uh, I think last time we finished somewhere around 13 or 12Q. I don't recall exactly where. But we're going to continue playing 10-minute games on the site uh, and see how far we can get. Um, I did recently change my avatar. It's just having a little bit of fun. And notice there's this really cute avatar with a, a light blue shirt uh, or dress. So I thought that could be interesting. And these enormous bright blue eyes and blonde hair. So I just thought it was entertaining. Um, hopefully it doesn't prevent me from getting a pairing that I changed my avatar. I wouldn't expect it to. All right, good luck. We are second player Gota. Um, I'm going to open with central file rook as I normally do, or as I normally attempt to do, and usually get sidetracked and have a bit of an adventure trying to do. Okay, we want to break in the center, defending this pawn. Um, let's allow my bishop to attack their bishop if things get crazy. My silver supports the pawn, my rook's supporting the silver, everything is supported. Um, there's not going to be a bishop exchange, but in case there is, let's get the king out of here. But yeah, 1Q players are very strong tactically. Uh, so we should try to dodge as many tactical landmines in the opening here as we can. Um... So, uh, that's interesting. Alright, we're going to prepare an escape for our king, because someday we're going to need that escape. I'm going to build Half Mino Castle. Although they've built an interesting whatever they built on their side. Um, I've defended my silver, so let's scare the rook away. Their rook defends their silver this way. Um, and now we start facing decisions about... Like, their king is eventually going to make it to the left here. Um, or not. So, let's build an attack on the edge of this board. Because this is their weakness, and if we can build an attack there and they can't defend it, um, things will be great. Um, they do say the conventional wisdom is to push the odd file pawns. So we're going to push this to keep the silver away. Um, yeah, our opponent is attacking swiftly, but our attack might be swifter. I'm not sure. I've blocked my bishop with this pawn push. I can't sack it here anymore. Um, So I'm playing a bunch of delaying moves because I'm not sure what my opponent's intent is. Um, but also, I expect that when my attack does hit, it's going to be very strong. Uh, I could do a bishop to hit the silver, drop the silver back here, fork the golds, and see what happens. Um... Usually that's not a good idea, but I, I don't have a need to do something so drastic here just yet. All right, their bishop is defending some squares. Um, 
Yeah, I still could do the sacrifice whenever it suits me. Um... I just don't get what they're doing. Nanafun. Okay, let's prepare the sacrifice and do it, because it looks very strong. It's an unusual sack, but I don't know that that's any problem. Their rook is in an odd spot anyway. Um, their entire camp is has this strange alignment to it, so... Um, yeah, preparing the sack is nice. I'm eventually going to swing my rook over here and harass the king on this file. Or the first file. But we're giving him a lot to think about. Um... Free pawn. Well, oh, not a free pawn. Just kidding. Very much not a free pawn. <sighs> Still. It's interesting. Um, their bishop is so trapped right now. Their bishop is so, so, so trapped. Um, my rook is blocked by all my pieces. Mm, I don't know where I want my pieces. My pieces are not cooperating with each other very well at the moment. <sighs> yeah, screw it. I'm going to do the sack because I'm just not seeing anything better to do. I don't understand why I would do this, but... Um, like, all of their pieces are in very strange places at the moment. This is the timing for me to do something, and this certainly is something. So, we have a silver. The silver can be dropped to fork these two gold generals. After that fork, um, use your imagination. Yes, yeah, so I saw this, and then I saw that I could attack the bishop. Uh, and I thought I could just take the knight. Gofun. The knight is not actually hanging here like I thought it was. Um, so my plan has a major flaw in it. That uh, its entire premise is wrong. So, what do we do now? Um... We just keep attacking. This is... Yeah, I'm using this piece set because the, the pieces are too tiny for me to recognize what they are any other way. I'd gladly, like, if they could double the size of the board, I would play with any piece set they would offer me. But... Since I can't really increase the board size, we're going to use this piece set. Um, I had intended silver takes pawn here, which is more than a bit silly. Again, the timing feels right, but the idea is so flawed. So... Well, now if I take here, I could fork the rook and bishop. 
So my timing is actually correct. And I could have done all of that without like weakening my king side first. Um, yeah. So sorry if some of the pieces are difficult for most players to recognize. I tried other pieces here first, and this is what I'd settled on after not understanding the pieces. Like, you'll see on Play Shogi, uh, I do use... Okay, yeah, that's fun. A rook for a rook, they say. I don't have to keep my rook here. Um... Like, where's their silver going? No, they're going to put another piece down. And what's that piece going to be? I don't know. Um, I mean, a rook for rook's not terrible either. Um, rook for rook is looking very good at the moment, honestly. So, a rook devastates their back rank. Um, mm -hmm. And if I take this, I'm in trouble, right? If I retreat, I've given them a tempo. Um... Something. I can't give them an entire silver for nothing here. I might be generous, but I'm not that generous. Um, I guess we'll use this to ward off pieces in front of my king. Yeah, he did pincer his own silver. It's just that he had a lot of other pieces in hand here. So I was not buying that. Uh, oh, I forgot. Um, they can add pieces like this. Uh, so, yeah, that hurts. Um, hmm. <laughs> Gosh, this is awkward. That sucks. That's like certain death for me. But um, it's a slow one, so I'll try to enjoy it. Yeah, they're just going to put some pieces or pawns on the first rank as soon as I start adding my pieces back here. But if they place their gold down on my half of the board and I place my rook on 6-9 here, um, there's only a pawn and bishop left and they can't interpose with a pawn. Um, right. Yeah, that's awkward. Uh, since they've moved, since they have moved their bishop, um, I can actually place this. Um, I don't know that any square is less prone to a fork than any other square here. And I might still use my silver in defense, uh, acknowledging that this silver is going to hang. We're down to one minute. All right. Let's go, go, go.
I mean, looks like death, right? Oh, my king is trapped by this pawn. Yeah, that is death. All right, whatever. All right, good game. Well played. Uh, let's play another game. Yeah, they did a very well-conducted attack, and I spent a lot of time pushing pawns. All right, good luck. This avatar is too cute. We can't use any other avatar. So that's why we have um, blue-eyed anime girl person. I don't know. Yeah, it's too cute. Like, how could anybody pick any other avatar? Um, I should bring the silver out. I'm misplaying this. The silver needs to be on, like, in the center. Okay, ay ay ay. What in the world is this? Okay. At least I'm not complete. Uh, like half Mino. What you're supposed to do against this is play a bit aggressively. Um, now since they've advanced this pawn one square already, and I don't anticipate it, well, that's weird. Um, all right, we're gonna play this here anyway. Central file Rook versus central file, whatever. Normally you put a rook if you're going to push the center pawn. This is just mayhem. Um, this is going to end in disaster for them. Probably. Right now I'm threatening silver to hit the bishop, and then silver takes either of these pawns. Um, but even without that being the case, like I could bring my gold over here, take in the center. I don't know if I could just straight up take here. Feels like, yeah, actually, it's permissible. That's a free pawn. There is nothing wrong with this free pawn. And if they try to push this and bring the rook out, they're asking for trouble. So, yeah, we'll take that. Sure. Check. So yeah, we picked up some decent material there. Um, that was crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I think they have to drop the bishop on my back rank and sack it. Well, that doesn't get anywhere, does it? It slowly starts to erode this half of the board for me. Maybe I needed to bring my gold up one instead of diagonal here. Um, maybe this fork could be my undoing if I'm careless. Okay, this is just absurd. Um, are they going to drop a piece onto their back rank to defend it? Like... What's the thinking here? I think they just missed a move or two or ten and are having second thoughts about everything. Um, so we promote the rook with check, which gives us a knight to attack with. Do we want a lance, too? Do we need to bring this knight in? What about the silver? Should I castle? Like, my king feels relatively safe over here. I'm usually not in this commanding of a position right in the opening. Um...
Okay, let's use the silver in combination with the rook. But mostly we're... Oh. Yeah, actually the knight drop is not... Well, it's actually extremely strong, isn't it? Yeah, that's just decisive. Um, if the king moves, I can sack my rook for this gold and then drop uh, as I'm going to do. Yes. Check. And the gold will cover this bishop's square. Uh, okay. Yeah, they did have a piece in hand. Um, good game. That was epic. I think they missed a tactic or two that game. I've missed tactics also. Uh, central foul rook can be kind of crazy like that. Uh, this is the point at which the app is supposed to prompt me if I want to play another game. Um, not entirely sure what happened here. Perhaps I've been disconnected. Um, ping Google. Okay, DNS resolves. I think um, something happened. Yeah, sorry, I there we have technical difficulties here. Uh, I'm not sure if we're still online. Let me check. Does this work? Does that show? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, whatever disconnect I had was uh, appears to be some DNS something or other with Shogi Wars. That's strange. Some WebSocket error. Let's refresh the page. See if we can get another game played. Perhaps I interacted too much next to the animation. Alright, good luck. Ooh, we get Senta again. It's our lucky day. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, let's pretend that we're going to castle. Um, bring the silver up. All right, he's aiming toward the head of my bishop. Uh, I tend to mess this up. I should try to get it right once in a while. Um, well, if I move the bishop, yeah, this is all... There's too many of these formations, and they're all so similar. Um, let's play third foul rook. because the third file might be opening soon. Um, all right, he's using all of his pieces to target my center pawn, which makes me a bit uncomfortable. Um, I can't push this pawn anymore to deal with that. Hmm. Well, okay, it's a sacrifice. It's just a pawn. There's nothing I can do to save it now. Um, so let's complete our castle. Very surprising. Entirely unnecessary exchange. I guess the rook moves over. No. Um, I don't get it. All right, my bishop doesn't want to retreat. Advancing it doesn't help. Or does it? No. 
Not that I see, anyway. Um... I guess we continue building Mino or something? I... There's always supposed to be some counterplay whenever my position collapses like this. It's not always easy to find where the counterplay is. But there's always supposed to be something. Alright, so if I hit the silver, what's going to happen? The rook will defend the silver, and I will be sad. Or I just take, rook takes, and we hope we have something. That seems to be today's motif, it's just hope chess or hope shogi. Um, moving this gold uh, allows for a fork. I could, could put a pawn at the head here. They push this. I take, they take, I take a silver, they take my rook, and they take my everything. That's not great. Um, I could remove the support for the silver. Yeah, let's do that. And then if they apply pressure here, I can defend this. And then bring my bishop around to strike at this. This is a bit surprising to me as a chess player, just how silvers move. But um, yeah, they seem to have pincered their silver. Or at least pinned it. So, I did not move my gold walking into a silver fork of my rook and gold. Uh, so, instead we got here. And I'm curious what our 1Q opponent has planned. If they move the 5-5 five, five silver, they do threaten bishop takes lance. But currently I'm threatening bishop takes silver, followed by bishop takes rook. All right, um, so my bishop's not taking a silver for just free. Um, I guess we take here, because why not? We could fork their rook and silver. They take the bishop, I take the rook, and my silver is way off sides. I could move this away to hit their lance. It's a bit difficult to navigate out of the corner while they continue attacking. Um... Hmm. What do I do with the rook? Probably there's a lot of stuff I could do with the rook. Um... Yeah, a rook and a bishop are better than just a rook. All right. I see your enthusiasm, sir. Um, Oh, this is a bit silly, isn't it? I'm seriously contemplating just repeating here. Because I don't see anything better. Ah, oh, it's so awkward.
Does this game declare to draw or not? Okay, repetition. A good game. Yeah, so I'm not content with the idea of... Um, I mean, yes, well played to them that they were able to hold the game to a draw. Um, so it's supposed to be Gota's privilege to play for a draw and Senta's privilege to try to not repeat moves. Um, so in that vein, like, shame on me a little bit. But I don't see, like, this silver drop here being necessarily very great. They take my bishop, I take their rook, and, like, my entire position is... I'm not happy with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm willing to accept a repetition here. Um, plus the time situation. Being down four minutes doesn't help. So, um, yeah, I thought this was a reasonable way to end the game. Um... If this were some time control where we had Bioyomi or some other kind of way that I'm not guaranteed to lose on time, um, I would consider, I don't know, playing more ambitiously here. But, um, yeah, like, I don't think this silver drop, silver takes bishop, silver takes rook, is good for me at all. The silver, after having taken the rook, is not great. So that said, I think what that means is that after I did this, after he did this, somehow I was not happy with... Well, maybe it's earlier I missed something better. Somewhere, somewhen, I missed whatever it was I was supposed to have seen. That would have made this more interesting. Um, but where was that? Was it taking this pawn? Was that really what sent me down this dark path that I didn't want to continue playing the game anymore? That's strange. If so... Um... Maybe I needed to drop my pawn behind the silver and try to threaten to move my bishop behind it, too. Maybe that would have been... I don't know. I'll have to download this Kifu sometime, take a closer look at it. Because I played reasonably overall. I was surprised they didn't take my 5-5 five five pawn for free earlier. Um... So that's a weakness of having moved my rook twice in the opening without really the greatest strategy. Um, yeah, my rook move to defend the bishop was cowardly. Maybe that was it. Um, could I have done better somehow? Oh! Yes, yeah, so I was concerned if I move my bishop to 4-4, and if they push this pawn to 2-4, if I take rook takes, I was concerned that I didn't have a way to uh, uh, stop this rook from invading. Well, now that I look at it, rook 2-2, pawn drop 2-3 is actually quite painful. So, yeah, no, I was right. So, in turn, what this means... Um, so that to defend this, defend against this quick silver attack that actually struck toward the center. Maybe I can't play the silver up one here. Maybe I have to play it diagonally. I don't know. Probably all my reasoning is flawed, and there's a lot more that could be done throughout the course of the game. It's never this simple, but still we had an exciting trio of games today. Um... So yeah, uh, thanks for enjoying these games with me.